How's it going, guys? Welcome to part two of Smurverts. I'm still with Reese. It's still me, Craig. And uh, the first topic we're going to talk about is being drawn Crystal Palace in the fifth round of the FA Cup at White Hart Lane. Yeah, that's big. The return big. of Adebayor. I know, I know. Oh! And my issue is, is that Adebayor, I mean, if I was a betting man, and I am, I will be putting all my money on Adebayor to score against us. It's, it's if he plays, is he definitely eligible to play? Because yeah, we still pay, are we still paying some of his wages? He's eligible. Well, then he will. He will score because also Adebayor is good for the first season. It's not even just that. He's good when he has a point to prove. Yes. When a when when Sherwood left, no, wait, sorry, when AVB left and Sherwood came in and started playing Adebayor, yeah. he made it his mission to prove that he was worthy. And do you remember when Adebayor ran off and celebrated in front of the Arsenal fans can, and they all went mad? I forget. And, it was, it was a and we loved it, right? That is going to happen to us. But it's like, where does he run off? Because he's at our stadium. He can just run there. He's going to celebrate and he's going to do a gesture to the Spurs fans. Do you think he just does the salute maybe to oh, our own wow. fans? If he does the salute. Do you think he could actually maybe get murdered? If he, if he celebrated. <laughs> I don't know. Because our but... fans aren't like Arsenal fans. Our fans are really about this life. If he does the salute, it's going to be... That's it will be, be war. It, he would literally he will be score. saluting off a war. He will, he will score. score. He will score. It's a question is, will they win? That is the question. They... I mean, if he scores the winner, it will be heartbreak. Like, he, he sends us yeah. out of the FA Cup at White Hart Lane. Yeah. And then salutes. Like, like just, to, just the icing on the cake. God, Spurs fans hate him so much that I just... But every club he goes to, what was interesting is seeing all the Spurs fans mm. giving advice to Crystal Palace fans about what Adebayor's going to be like, which is the exact same advice that we had got from Arsenal and, and City Man fans, City, yeah. saying, look, you'll like him at first, and then honestly, after that first year, you're going to hate him more than anyone in the world. Well, he's only got an 18-month contract anyway, so... Exactly. They, they, right. they probably realise... They know what they're doing, yeah. yeah you I... sign him for a year, because he'll, be, he'll have a huge impact. He he's a good one to get in your fantasy team, because he will get goals now for Palace. Will, do you think we should win that game still, regardless? We should win that game, yeah. Give, we should win that game. They were decent against us when we beat them. So just a uh, mere consolation for Adebayor. But, um, but Adebayor will get the goal, but we should beat them. We're, we're a better side. So we'll them. get the victory, but he'll get like a little personal victory. Yeah. <sighs> Everyone wins. It'll, it'll be bittersweet for us. All right, Eric Dyer, the one and only, the best DM. I said it, the best DM in the league right now. Matic is gone, who cares? Cochrane's just come back from an injury. We don't care about the cock. Eric Dyer <laughs> has come out and said, there is no pressure on us being up there. Everyone is enjoying it. They're I not believe feeling the him. pressure. No, I believe him, because they're a bunch of kids. Why would they be feeling the pressure? They're you a know? bunch of youngsters. They, no one expected this at the start of the season. Nope. That wouldn't have been in anyone's contract to go, well, you got to win the league. Yeah. Like, Poch wouldn't have been laid out, here's your target for the year, win the league. It would have been mm. try and get Champions League. And we're in a good position to do that at the moment. So I can Definitely. see why they're all just going, oh, this is great, with two points off the top. Do you think the pressure will start to mount as we get closer and we're still up there? Like, like let's say there's 10 games left and we're still in contention. We're maybe three or four points off the top with 10 or maybe even eight games. Does the pressure, does, do we really start to believe, you know what, we can go for this now? I don't know if pressure is the right word, just because we are certainly not favourites. So like pressure will mount on Arsenal and City when they're still up there, yeah. near there, because it's like, which one of them is it going to be? And Leicester, but no, Leicester are such underdogs, there's no pressure on Leicester. What if we, what if we miraculously find ourselves at the top of the league with like 10 games to go? Yeah, would the it, pressure then be on? The only reason the pressure will be on then is because the, we'll get too excited. We'll all, we'll all get the, yeah. the, the, the players might not feel the pressure, but we'll, we'll all get too excited and then we'll be gutted. Do you think the fans should believe? Should we dare to dream or? We've got there to dream, mate. Got to dare, dare is to, to do. To dare is to do. All right. So speaking of quotes and all that jazz, uh, Norwich manager Alex Neil has come out and said, "Spurs are contenders for the title if they avoid injuries." Mind games. That's what he's doing because we got he's them. Getting in our heads before the game. That's what he's trying to do, isn't he's he? He's going, "Oh yeah, we're massively underdogs. They're going to win the league, mate. We got no chance." And then he's going to chuck Nathan Redmond on and try and get him to cut inside well, and smash you, it Neil. straight at Lloris. That reverse psychology. Yeah. He's, he's trying it's to. It's obvious. He's predictable. To... Right. Predictable, like your football mate. The thing is, he's not lying, though. Yeah, we're we in are, We are yeah, contenders. Good, yeah, good guy, so actually, we, I mean, lovely I mean, bloke, not mind games. Yeah, good, yeah, good chat. Yeah, did we have to do it anyway? Anyway, guys, this has been part two of Spurvert. So let us know in the comments below if you agree with anything we have spoke about. <laughs> Follow us on Twitter, <laughs> at Spurvert on TV. Do you think Adobeo will score at White Hart Lane? And keep it casual. Hello, welcome to another episode of Spurvert. I'm here with Craig Mitch. Today, we are wearing the same outfit. It's the new Spurred on kit, but like oh, a goalkeeper oh. with the sun in his eyes, Craig has opted for a baseball cap. Yes. 